Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. Uh, we are here continuing learning about patterns. Today, I want to do something a little bit different and draw waves in the ocean with a little boat. The waves in the ocean are going to be our pattern today, and I think we're going to have lots of fun. So let's get started. I have my Sharpie here. That's going to help me show you how to draw. But again, if you have a pencil, a pen, a marker, anything that you have at home is perfect to do this project with us. In part two, I will show you how I color my ocean and my boat, and that way it will have even more patterns in it. So I'm excited to do this with you. Let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is draw the waves of the ocean. Now, the waves are gonna be a little different. We're gonna use an actual wave, and then we're going to put in some wavy lines. So here we go, we're gonna start with those waves. So I'm gonna start my picture right around here. Now, as you can see, it's all the way towards the top, but it leaves a little space because we still want to draw a little boat in there. So we're going to draw right around here and it's going to leave us lots of space to make other types of waves along with it. So here we go. So the first thing, I'm not going to make a lot of waves, but I am going to try to make something like that. Now these types of waves are tricky to make. That's okay. Just try your best. Uh, all you have to do is you're going to go up to a point and then back down making the letter C. So up to a point, make a letter C. Up to a point, make a letter C. Why don't you guys try that? Go from one side of your paper to the other. I'll give you a few seconds to work it out. Perfect. Now, if you're still working on it, or if you're going to get stuck, no worries. Just pause or rewind me, and I'll tell you all the instructions once again. So here we go. The bottom ones are going to be much easier. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a wavy line. And then another wavy line. And then one last one. Now, as you can see, I didn't put my lines very close together. You're gonna probably put something a little bit closer to three finger spaces or two finger spaces in between your waves, so that way we can make a pattern inside, okay? Why don't you guys try that out? Okay, now we are gonna draw a couple patterns inside the waves. Now, I decided to think about what's in the ocean. And the first thing that came to mind was a fish. So I thought about using big fishes and little fishes to create a pattern. So I'm gonna switch over to my smaller one because this is a way too big of a Sharpie to make my fish. But with this smaller Sharpie, I'm gonna start off with some big ones, some little ones, some big ones, some little ones. Now we've made uh, fish at school before. You can pretty much use lots of different shapes, but today I'm gonna use ovals, triangles, and circles to make some fish. So watch what I do. I'm gonna make a big fish, and that I'm going to use an oval, just like that. And then I'm gonna put a tail fish. Then I'm going to do one, and then fish. And then I'll probably fit one more in there. Fish. Perfect. Now with the second one, do you think I would use big fish or little fish? Hmm. Ah, little fish. Very good. We're going to use little fish so that way we can make a pattern. So this one I'm just going to use circles. So I'm going to start by putting some circles all around. It's usually easier for me to do that. 
And then I'm gonna go back and make little tails. Right? Now it's going to go back to the pattern. What do you think comes next? Hmm. Hmm. That's right, the big fish. So this time I'm gonna have them as ovals. One, two, three. And as you can see, my ovals and my circles aren't perfect. So as long as you try your best, your ocean is gonna come out fantastic. And last but not least, I think it's safe to say that we know it's going to be little fish. So I'm gonna draw some little fishes all around and then put some tails. Now, one thing I forgot to do is give them little eyes. You can give them a little eye, because remember, they're swimming, going in a direction, right? If the tail's over here, they're swimming there. If the tail's over there, they're swimming there. So if you'd like, you can give them little smiley faces. And one eye. We talked about when we're on our sides. You don't see both eyes, you just see one. But when we're facing each other, that's when you see we have two beautiful eyes. Same goes as fishes, or anything really. Perfect, ta-da! We have created a pattern. Big fish, little fish, big fish, little fish. I think it's perfect. All that's left is to make a little boat. So I'm gonna make a little boat going up my wave right up here. You can put your little boat anywhere you want. It could be hiding behind a wave, it could be sitting on top, wherever you want. If you don't want a boat, I can show you how to make a sun instead, and that can, that can work too. So my little boat is gonna be right over here, and I'm gonna use an uppy umbrella. Then I'm going to use a straight line. So far, easy cheesy. Then I'm going to do one line going up and then a little flag. That's my little boat. <laughs> it's no ship, but it's still very cute. So what we're going to do now is if you didn't want to make the boat, you can make a little sun. You can put it right in the middle, right off to the side, but I usually like to use a circle and some lines. That helps with the rays of the sun. So you can do both or you can do one or the other. It's perfectly fine and all up to you. At this point, if you don't have any crayons or pencils or something to color with, don't worry. You made a pattern without any colors and it's beautiful. So part two, I'm gonna color this to show you how I would make a pattern. So if you would like to join me for part two, you'll see how I would color it. Again, you guys can color however you want, but please feel free to do what I'm doing or make something even better. So uh, join me for part two and we're gonna do some coloring. Thanks guys, see you soon. Okie dokie, welcome back. Here we are. We are going to color even more patterns into our boat design. Uh, I have my markers here. These are my fun Crayola markers. Um, and I brought out some colors that I would like to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use this light purple for the sky. Have If you want to use a different color, please, please do. Um, and then I brought out two different color blues. Uh, if you have two, that's great. If you don't, you can take the same color blue, especially if it's a color pencil or a crayon, and you can press harder for a darker blue and press real soft for a lighter blue and you'll still get the same effect. Um, then I have some colors for my little boat and obviously a yellow for my son. 
you guys can do, pick out your favorite colors for your boat. So you can make it green, you can make it red, you can make it purple, you can make it whatever color floats your boat. Haha. <laughs> um, so here we go. We're going to get started and I'm going to show you how I would color. All right. And then afterward, I would love to see what you guys do. Hold on one second. using two different things. We use some fishes and we use some colors. So we have a blue, light blue, blue, light blue pattern and a big fish, little fish, big fish, little fish, or you could always say red fish, green fish, red fish, green fish. So many patterns all in one picture. I am super proud of you guys. Uh, just wanted to come back on and remind you, uh, don't forget, click on that attendance link when you are all done. All you have to do is write your first name, last name, and that you finish your project today. That way I know you joined us today to make boating ocean patterns. I had so much fun with you today. I'll be back tomorrow if you'd like to join me, and I can't wait. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.